Hi Planner Creators! This video is all about how you can use this free template, edit this template, to create your 2025 portrait digital planner with Canva. Um, you can grab this if you're a PDF Linker owner, this template is included. Um, if you don't have PDF Linker, just go sign up for my email list and you'll get this template for free. So let's and I'll have all the links down below this video so let's get started when you open the template it comes with both Monday start and Sunday start so you have them both so when you open the template it's 70 pages what we're going to do and I'm doing this in the Canva app because I, f I feel like it works better so what we're going to do first is we are going to create a new design custom size just bear with me because it'll make sense here in a minute and we want it to be 933 by 1247 we're going to create the new design okay perfect that's for my um, this is going to be my daily pages okay Know why that closed but we'll open it back up <laughs> okay so that's going to be for my daily pages and then I want to duplicate this one and this is going to be my notes pages and then one more time and this will make sense later okay and this will be my back cover there we go okay save that okay so what we want to do is we want to go to our grid view and we want to scroll all the way down here because we want our back cover we want to just grab all of this and copy it this is going to be our back cover so I want to paste it here perfect save great now I'm going to delete this page from this and then I want to do the same thing for my notes page I want to copy it this is for my notes so I'm going to paste it perfect save great then I'm going to delete this notes page wonderful and now my daily page same thing I'm going to select it all copy it bring it over here to my daily page perfect awesome okay now I'm gonna delete that page okay wonderful so what you're left with is your cover, all of your monthly calendar pages, and your dated weekly pages. So what you need to do from here is just start with your cover and you want to edit your cover. So let's, and these are all frames so you can just drag and drop your image. So let's go to uploads and let's find an image and I like this one and let's just drag it in there. Okay, beautiful. Now you can change the opacity of this image so that you get more of a rounded edge here on your cover. And then you can grab a cover a uh, color from your image 
and then that will change all of the planner bands on all of the pages. So now I'm going to grab that image and drag it onto all of my background pages. Okay, I don't have to change my planner band because it's already been changed across all pages. Now I can select all of my tabs here and change the color on those as well. Go down here and let's change them all. So now it just changed all of my tabs to those color, to that color. So good there. So now all I have to do for the rest of this part is just drag and drop my image onto my frame background. So I'm going to pause the video and go do all of that. Now that you have all of your images over on your frames. Let's go file and save and then we're going to do the same thing here to our daily. Grab the wrong image. Let me drag it over here on my frame and then I want to edit my And then I want to edit my tabs as well. Okay, great. There's my daily. So now what I want to do is I want to add a text box right here that this is where I'm going to insert my date. So we want it to be the same. T we want it to match everything so we want to, I'm going to just use my color picker to pick the it needs to be a little bit darker than that. Let's just make it bold. There we go. Okay. So that's going to be our date input wonderful. Okay, so now here's where the magic comes in. We're going to use Bulk Create to put in all our dates. And you're going to have all of these CSV files, okay? So we're going to use, first we're going to use January, February CSV. What we're going to do is we're going to go back up here on our little date we're going to click the three little dots and say connect data. And then we're just going to click on date. And now it's going to create January and February for me. And it'll open up in a new um, window if it's successful. If you have too many um, pages then it might time out, but we are doing it just two months at a time, so you'll be fine. So we're going to say January through February, and we're just going to say File, Save. There we go. And we need to go back to our daily. Open that back up. doesn't want to open. <laughs> Let's try again. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go to Bulk Create. Upload data. And this time we're going to do March through April. We're go and it's already selected. It's already says date there. So we're going to say continue. 
and it's going to create all of those for us and it'll open it in a new window for us. So we're going to go through and do all of that with all of the CSVs so then we'll have all of our daily pages. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to go continue and create all of the rest of the daily pages. Okay, so I've created all of my daily pages. Now all I have to do is download all of these pages and merge them all together with PDF Linker. So let's go back to Let's rename this as cover cover through weekly. There we go. I'm going to download this as PDF standard. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. a while. Okay, so I am going to make a new folder actually. Let's just call it Canva Demo. Alright, let's save it there. Okay, so there's that one. So we've got our cover and our monthly calendars and our weeklies. Okay, so now we need to download our dailies. So let's download January and February. We want to do PDF standard. And we're going to download all of these. So I'm going to pause the video until I get, I'm going to download all of my dailies and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we downloaded all of our daily pages. Now we just need to add our image to our notes page. Jump on there. There we go. And edit our tabs and such on our notes page. There we go. There's our notes page. So let's download our notes page. And then we just have one more page to go. So now we just have to do our cover, our back cover. Let's grab our image. There we go. And let's adjust the transparency to grab that curved edge. Enter band. All right. Now let's download that as PDF. Okay, now let's open up PDF Linker. Move this out of the way. And now I'm going to add all of my files. And it doesn't matter. We're just going to throw them all in there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the cover and weekly and just move it up. And then I want January, February, March, April, oops, So I want it in order of how I want it put together. And now that notes page needs to go down here. There we go. And I just need to switch these two. 
Okay, so I have my cover and weekly pages. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, notes, and back cover. Perfect! So, now all I'm going to do is say merge PDFs. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. And it is done. Now it just put all of that together for me. And here is my 434 page planner. All merged together and ready to go. And we did it in Canva in under 20 minutes. So now go watch the link below to hyperlinking your planners with PDF Linker and you can have this complete planner hyperlinked in under half an hour. Thanks!